All right, so this program is going to calculate uh, commission rate. Again, I'm doing these a little bit different because we're not doing object-oriented yet, so this constructor stuff we're not going to deal with right now. And all it's doing is, is, well, let's read it. It says, you will write a program that can determine the commission rate and the sales commission for an, a sales associate. Write a program with proper variables, access, or mutator methods. Create the following methods. A constructor, create a constructor that accepts a sales associate's uh, employee ID and name. <coughs> also initialize sales commission rate and total commission to zero. So we're not going to do this one. And to be honest, uh, I could do these, all of these, but maybe we only do a couple of them instead of all of them. It says accessor. So remember, accessors are the getter methods that return information. It says create accessor methods. Now again, methods, it should be functions. To get the total sales, the commission rate, and the total sales commission. So they want to write three different accessor methods. I might just write one or two. Mutators, create mutator methods to set the total sales commission, total sales commission rate, and total sales commission. Use the following chart to determine this, the commission rate. So the commission rate, it depends on what your sales are, okay? So, <coughs> so anything that you sell up to, um, would, and less than 10,000, you, you'd get 10%. 10,000 to 15,000, you get a 15% rate, and Oh, anything over 15,000, you get a 20% rate. Use the following formula to determine the total sales commission. So you get whatever sales the user enters in, and you multiply it by the commission rate. But you can't just multiply it by, you can't hard code it as 10, 15, or 20. You have to do if-l statements to determine, you know, if it's 10, 15, or 20% based off of what they enter for their sales. Test the program with three different commission rates. Uh, it should be, but oh, okay, with three different commission rates to see if the program works properly. Okay, cool. So, again, I'm going to call this main sales commission. Okay, so I, like I said, I'm just going to say, you know, please enter the total sales for an associate. So you see in sales and double sales, we got to define it as a double. <laughs> And so then if, if sales are less than 10,000, then our commission rate is equal to 0.1. And we have an error there because we need to define. Else if sales are less than or equal to 15,000. Now you could do it like this or you could do, I don't know, sales are greater than or equal to 10,000. And, you know, you can do it like that. It doesn't matter. You could do it like that or you could just do it like this. It's the same thing because this is going to pick up anything less than 10,000 and that would pick up anything less than or equal to 15,000. So if this isn't true, like it was $11,000, if this wasn't true, 
all you need to see is check to see if it's less than 15,000. 11,000 is, so it would come in here. But this is written out in full form, so either way is fine by me. It doesn't really matter. That comes down to preference and I don't know. Most coders don't like typing, so... Um, else everything you know the structure of an if else statement you have to have an if you could have a standalone if you can have an if with an else or you can have ifs and then else ifs in the middle but they always should end in an else <coughs> if you do it any other way that ends up getting into like silly string code and you don't want that okay so that would set your commission rate, and so then you would just say tote sales commission, right? Tote sales commissions, is that what they want us to call it? Tote sales commissions are equal to the sales times the commission rate. And so we gotta define that. So then we would say see out uh, total sales commissions and <coughs> excuse me. Now you want to be able to test for each one just to make sure you get 0 0.1, 0 0.15, or 0 0.2. So, I don't know, 1,000. So 0.1, so 10% of 1,000 is 100. So that got hit. So 10,000, if 15% if of, so 0 0.15 times 10,000 is 1,500. And then I'll do like a hundred grand to see if I got you know twenty twenty thousand. Okay, so that's good. So anyway, again, you know, we're writing all this in main, but we what we really want to shoot for our you know our methods or sorry our functions. So we could you know essentially set the commission rate and set total sales commissions and then we can get to sales commission we can get the commission rate as well so let's just write four of them instead of you know uh, six of them or whatever it wanted me to do so we'll say void we'll say set commission commission rate and that's where we will pass in the double sales and we'll just do this right here so pass in the sales there and I want to move this above here So again, you see how it's we're we're slowly adding new different material here with if else statements. Like at this point, my hope is that you guys go, oh yeah, I understand how functions work, and I can pass information into them, and I can get information and return it back. And so in this part of the the the, the semester, all I want you really, hopefully you've you know gotten close to master this by now now I only want you to worry about your if else decision making structures your selection structures okay I don't I, I don't want you to have to fight and so again I, the reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like the minute they start throwing in functions you're dealing with if else statements and loops and other hard stuff and so um yeah so then we can what double get commission rate and return the commission rate so and then maybe right here 
this is going to be what set no this is going to be get sorry get and so right above it we'll do like a c out right here total set and we'll just say commission oops commission rate We'll take that and multiply that by 100 because this is going to give us 0.1 or 0.15. Um, so then right here we can do set <coughs> tote sales commissions. And for this one, you don't. we're not going to need to pass <coughs> anything into it. So right here we go void set to sales commissions and all we're doing is just passing that in and something similar with our gets so we'll get our to sales commission get and we will return this. And so then, let's see here, we ask for sales, we set the commission rate, set it. We set the commission, the, the tote sales commission. So we set that and then we get it, multiply it by 100 to make it like, and then we could do like a um, percent symbol afterwards. Yeah, like 15%. And then we would get our sales commission. So let's try this and see what it looks like. Uh, will I get it right the first time? So let's do a thousand. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. You know what I'm going to have to probably do is something like this here. So we'll do, yeah. Ideally, we should be doing this anyway. Let's see if this fixes. Or let's just see. So the commission raised 10%, the sales commission is 100. So that works, um, but then we'll do like an end L here. So now let's try $10,000. So 15%, $1,500. And last one, we'll do 100,000 again. So 20%, $20,000. So again, we, we should be defining our method headers up here. Um, and so then, you know, you output, enter the sales, you set the commission, set total sales commission, then you get the commission rate to display it and get the sales commission, um, to display the, you know, the final, and then you, you can write your different methods, but each one does its own little thing and sets its own variables and returns stuff back. So anyway, this video is done.